Hey friends, welcome back. Our chicken coop is short people friendly, not tall people friendly at this point. We have this bird netting that we put up here a couple years ago. We attached some two by fours kind of on the side there. And we kind of draped it over the whole thing. And it's worked perfect for about two, I think going on three years now. And it's finally rotten. The, the strings just finally are giving out the Two by fours at the top, they kind of split and kind of just fell down now. So the whole thing's low. I bought some new netting. So we're gonna get this old netting ripped down today. Put up some new netting. Rachel should be out in a minute. She's just talking to our daughter on the phone. Um, I think she's gonna try to trim up some of this giant bush over here today. And um, what else is going on today? Oh, the automatic chicken door. Remember we installed that a while ago? It has been working perfect. I've had no issues with it except for one thing. And I'll show you what that one thing is here in just a second. It's all closed up right now. I used the manual override close switch to close it up. Caught the chickens, put them in there. That way they're not out here disturbing us. And I'll show you what I had to fix on the um, chicken door real quick. And then we'll get to uh, ripping this stuff down. If you guys remember the little solar panel, we installed it over here on the back or front side of the chicken coop where the sun would hit it and it could charge the batteries just like it's doing right now. It also uses this to determine when it's dark and when it's daylight. So on the back of our house over there, we have porch lights back there. And we turn them on just about every evening when we let the dogs out. Once it gets dark, the porch lights go on, they stay on until we go to bed. That way when the dogs go out, they can see, we can see, we know if there's predators around. And it was interfering with this solar panel because the lights would shine on it and they would think that it was daylight still. So the door wouldn't close until basically like 11 o'clock at night when we would go to bed. We finally turned the lights off, the chicken door would close. So I added this little piece of wood right here and it just acts as a little shade so that it blocks it from those porch lights and now it's been working perfect. So if you guys are new to our channel, we've often shown right. our compost making system, which is our chickens in this winter run. And um, this is a problem that I've got. They're, they're building up, you know, this used to be totally exposed when we first started. And all of this good, delicious compost they're making for me and but it's spilling out the back side and on this side down here um and i was telling todd i wish we had we might go get some more boards this weekend to build this up because i'm losing just crazy good compost out here um but isn't that delicious like perfectly refined compost it's just getting naturally sifted out of this back screen as they work it. So um, if you're not using your animals to do this for you, um, I highly recommend it. I know everybody likes to, you know, pasture raise their chickens, but at least for the winter, um, it's a great alternative solution. You know, we throw our leaves, our kitchen scraps, grass clippings, um, today we're going to be adding something new for the first time, so I can't wait to share that with you. And, um, anyway, hopefully it just gives you an idea, but you just see, like, there's everything in here. Big, huge sticks, chicken bones, eggs, everything like that. And it just breaks down over time.
epitome of a net. It keeps getting caught on everything. I think that's how they're designed. What? Are you talking to me or them? I was talking to them, not me. This is the new netting that we purchased called Harvesto bird netting. It's just something I found on Amazon and it had good reviews. So we'll find out if it actually passes our review. The size we went with is the same size we bought last year, which is 50 by 25. Not last year. Well, three years ago, whenever we put that last one. It's been four years. Since four years? And supposedly it's packaged in a way that makes it not get all tangled up. Mm -hmm. And that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I think if we stretch it like down the middle and then put one side and one side. Mm -hmm. And then we're not going to go up over the top of the roof like we did the last time because it caught on some of the shingles and kind of like kind of curled them up and bent them up. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to try to Right along this drip edge down here is where we're gonna to try to staple it on. We just about got ahead of ourselves there. We still have a big pile of wood chips here in our front yard. We had them delivered this spring. We used a lot of them on the garden and on the blueberries. And this is what's left. So before we net in the chicken coop, we're gonna get out the tractor really quick and we're going to use the front end loader, load up all these wood chips, take them around and dump them in the chicken coop. And then we'll put the netting over and then we'll spread the wood chips out. We'll see if how quickly the chickens can turn them into compost. Isn't that funny? tomato plant still has flowers on it just mysteriously growing in our wood chip pile for some reason I'm just going to be careful with what we end up dumping in here from the wood chip pile because um, there was, we have like, when we bought the property, there was crazy trumpet vine growing all in that section. And from having the wood chips here, it came back. It's a very beautiful plant, but quite invasive. And um, if I don't get that all out, I'm afraid it'll take over. <laughs> I don't know that my chickens could keep up with keeping trumpet vine at bay. So we're just gonna make sure none of that gets brought in here. And uh, I think that this is just gonna be a ton of uh, compost making fun for the chickens to scratch in and turn into more yumminess for the garden next year. like the only out post that doesn't have support. Do you not just have one piece that you can drill on the back of this? 
Probably. Be good with help. I try to remember to show you guys my hat I was wearing today. Rachel did a, a trial run of a two hats that have like a leather patch with our logo on it. But we're not going to get any more of them. They're, I think they're too expensive. Yeah, they're really pricey. But they're really cool looking. I'll show you. The little ball thing on the top of my hat always catches on this netting. That's why I'm not wearing it. Is that looking good? Yep. I know, I'm gonna forget if I don't show you now. Isn't that cool? Like a leather patch like that. All right. We ended up having to take the entire thing off and rotate it 90 degrees because we had the long part and the short part mixed up between the two of them. So we got that adjusted and we got it lined up pretty good now. Our chicken coop now supports tall people and I can wear my hat in here. <laughs> we're gonna have to finish this video up in the morning when it's daylight because we're like really losing light. And we really gotta crank out the last of this. We got a lot of stuff to clean up still before dark fully sets in. So stick with us and we'll show you in the morning what it looks like. <laughs> what you doing up there? Huh? <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back. We're just taking a look this morning to see how everything turned out and I'm pretty happy with it so far. There's some things that we need to go back and add more staples in quite a few places, especially like these horizontal pieces. Need some more staples and up in through here need some more staples. But the ultimate goal of protecting our chickens from aerial predators is in effect. So I have seen this big walnut tree. I have seen an owl sit right up there in that tree on that branch and look down here at our chickens on more than one occasion. So that's why we do this just to protect them. You know, we have enough other predator pressure on the homestead between the possums and the raccoons and the fox and minks. We now have minks around. They've been spotted. So that's why we do it. I think I'm, the tension is good. It's nice, it's taut, it's tight. There's some parts that could we have done a better job probably, but I don't know if this is gonna hold up as well as the first round of netting that we bought. It seems a little more thin, but time will tell. We'll see if this one lasts. Um, Rachel remembers way better than I do four years like our previous batch because I really don't want to have to do this every year. It's not all that fun. So as always, thank you for spending your time with us. We really do appreciate you guys and we'll see you on the next video.